Everyone says that they're using AI for marketing, but most people are just stopping at I love ChatGPT. In this video, I'm breaking down the best AI tools to use in your day-to-day -day as a marketer and the workflows that will help you move faster. So you're gonna to wanna to stay till the end. Let's get into it. One of the biggest opportunities available for marketers today is letting nearly autonomous agents do the work for you using products like Manus. All right, so right now I have Manus repeating a prompt where I asked it to go to singlegrain.com slash blog to understand its writer guidelines and then produce blog posts based on it that have statistics, links, tables, and subtle call to actions to caret.ai throughout the blog post, right? And basically you can see it, it's actively doing the work over here. What I wanna show you as we scroll through this is at the very end of this, it produced about 21 blog posts that are pretty high quality. We're talking 90 to 95% there. I only started with this prompt over here. Would I say this is a fully autonomous agent? No, but it is doing a lot of stuff without having to ask me and go back and forth with me, which I appreciate as I would call it a better employee, right? So you can see it gives me these blog posts at the end. Obviously it took more time to do this. I would say about 30 minutes or so, but this is the output at the end. I just want to show you the work that's being done through all this. And this stuff is just going to continue to get better over time. Manus has been at least in my opinion, from a more autonomous standpoint, ahead of the curve. The reality is with work, you're spending a lot of time on meetings and you're sitting on amount of content that you can easily tap into. Most people just don't know that. I will tell you that when I'm sitting in meetings, when I'm not thinking about creating content and when it becomes a higher stakes conversation and when I'm trying to rally people, that's when my best content comes out. And so by using Lindy, it has helped me create a workflow that makes my internal meetings into scalable content. This is the Lindy compelling ideas meeting note taker and you can see what happens here is it'll join certain meetings that I sit in and then if it's a virtual meeting it's going to record the meeting and then I'm gonna ask it to come up with notes as well so find the best content ideas that can be repurposed for social media from this meeting and so this is the prompt that you can steal over here I'll just let you see it on the right side here so it goes through all this and then it gives you this output the beauty of this is that it'll email these notes to me it'll also send it through slack as well and then you can ask any follow-up questions if you want one example is this KPI meeting over here here is keep your resources and planning one. So here are the content ideas, right? And so I actually really like this one over here, the chaos theory of leadership, right? So chaos doesn't happen when a leader leaves. The chaos was always there. The leader was just absorbing it. And so what's happening right now in the situation is I had to step away due to personal issues for a week. They were talking about, okay, what do we solve? And I think the fact that this was an insight there was probably a light bulb moment for them that maybe I was absorbing a lot of the chaos and shielding them from it. You know, we need more people to just step up, right? I would just say that when you're able to do this, you don't have to think about content creation actively, you can have this continue to repeat over and over. And I find this to be extremely helpful using a product like Lindy. Another way you can use AI is to build resources like strategy decks, LinkedIn carousels, and more. The next idea is very simple. It's just dictation. It's not glamorous, but it will help you move a lot faster. I'm gonna show you how I do it and why you should be using the product that I'm using. And it's not like they're paying me to say it. So this is how Super Whisper looks. And the beauty of Super Whisper is that it's an app that allows you to dictate through your desktop or your mobile device. And what I like about it is that it doesn't save your audio files to the cloud, which is what some of these other tools do. This one can save locally. And that way I feel a little more secure using a product like this because the reality is we do speak a lot Lot faster than we talk and by using a product like super whisper and then re helping it refine whatever's on your mind using whatever llm that you like it is going to help you move a lot faster and so dictation again it's not glamorous but we're trying to be efficient here now another way you can speed up your work is changing the way that you learn new information the way that we do things now we have to move we're, we're moving into this new paradigm from this old paradigm what's old doesn't work as well anymore and this is the new way to go about learning and trust me, you're gonna learn a lot faster. All right, so I have Notebook LM open up here and this is a report from Box. This is the state of enterprise AI in 2025. And I believe this is a 42 page PDF. And so what I just did is I went into Notebook LM and then I dragged it in and the PDF and it actually made a mind map and it made a briefing document here. So this briefing document, it shows me the key themes and I can just read through this very quickly. And you can see the key quotes over here. Early adopters are realizing significant productivity gains. Our survey reveals that companies that consider themselves on a leading edge of AI are seeing 37% productivity in improvements, 80% of work is AI generated, AI will be able to handle more of 90% of current business task processes, client facing advisory service, advanced problem solving, AI is changing the competitive landscape, right? And so this is helpful for me to get a quick TLDR. And then if I might want to make an audio overview, I can, I can listen to a, a podcast version of it. And then it'll make a mind map here too. So you can see what, what are the survey findings over here? Okay, 1300 division between early adopters. Okay, great. Now I can ask questions. But my point of showing you all this is that I can dig through something a lot faster, or maybe if I want to go a little deeper, deeper and, and re 
research certain sections about a paper, I can go about doing that. That wasn't possible before, but that is possible now by using great products out there like Notebook LM. We talked about using meetings as a way to get content. Another is to take every podcast, webinar, or YouTube video you publish and turn it into five pieces of derivative content. Or you can even look at other people's content. So with Gemini, I can ask it, if I were to repurpose this into a viral post, what would the hook and body be? And this is from one of the videos that we have. And so it'll give me the body copy, rethink, and then it'll give me the key points here. And this is from, you can see this is one of the videos. I can continue to work with it and refine it. But my point of showing you this is that this is how I, I'm thinking about how I go about creating short form each week, because I have a lot of content already that I can work off of. And once you have a lot of content, you can train a chatbot on it so it can answer user questions for you rather than having to spend time on it. So here's a look at Delphi. So Delphi is a little chatbot that we have on my site and it's only trained on 10 million words of my content. But you can see it pulls from different RSS feeds like my YouTube channels, my blogs, the various podcast feeds that I have. And then basically people can ask questions on my website. So you can see different conversations people are having. So people might ask about, do you have a marketing newsletter, for example? And then you can see this chatbot's answering it. And you know, we have, and this is where I might have to train it a little bit, but I can have something that's trained on all of my content and then basically engage people when I'm not around on my website, right? And then basically it's like me, I'm trying to scale me. And so Delphi has been interesting because again, once you have a lot of content, you can train a chatbot on it. And I think this is just going to get better over time where we can push them to the right offer. If they're looking to learn something, just push them to opt into the newsletter and then push them to the podcast. If they're looking for services, push them over to, to book a sales call, get them into the CRM as well. This can be something that routes people to the right spot. The next idea is great if you send emails at all. And it's a product that I love using called Superhuman. With Superhuman, it allows me to never miss a follow-up again. So the beauty of Superhuman is, yes, it's my email product that I use. And you can see there's different flows, there's different sections, you can eliminate clutter, you can automatically organize your inbox. That's cool. But I want emails that write themselves. And so you can turn an idea into an email. So you can ask AI to help you draft an email if you like, and it'll help you draft it in your voice. But what I like the most is this follow-up. So if your email needs a response, we'll automatically remind you to follow up. We'll even write the email for you. So all you need to do is hit send. My whole point here is we need this, st this stuff to be resurfaced continually, and you can continually resurface it through Superhuman, and you can reply a lot faster too. So again, once there's a draft reply for everything, you just simply hit edit. And that helps me because again, I'm just trying to move faster at the end of the day, and Superhuman lets me do that. Speed wins in marketing, and being able to launch a live landing page within the hour is now the baseline not the exception. And here's how you can do that. So this is V0. So the cool thing about V0 is that you can see the community, there's actually a lot of people that are revealing the different prototypes or the landing pages that they've created. I find that V0 is typically better for creating things like landing pages or mockups. And there's a lot of tools that you can you can use for this. But in this context, we're using V0. You can clone a screenshot, you can import from Figma, a landing page, sign up form. You can see even here, they're focused more on, on mockups. And so one example here is what we have for a carrot. This was actually built using V0. And it's not like we need Need a lot of bells and whistles for our landing page here, nor do we need it for a lot for click flow. So you can see for click flow, you know, we're, we're just, this is what it looks like, right? And we get opt-ins for this. And so we can just launch a lot faster without having to wait weeks for this. We're talking about days in this case. So that's what I would say. Most AI writing tools were built by engineers who've never written a blog post in their lives. ClickFlow is entirely different. It's built by my team of SEO marketers and learns your business inside out, delivering automated, scalable content that is optimized for search engines and reads like it was crafted by your own team. No more managing freelancers, no more babysitting briefs, just press go and grow. So head to clickflow.com and get your first 25,000 words free. That's not a typo, 25,000. Go get them. Clickflow.com. Deep research has completely changed the game for Inforward Marketing. It can run research requests for you that will typically take you hours or weeks to get done. And it opens up the opportunity for your team to have much deeper insight into your industry, competitors, or relevant stories. When you think about the big consulting firms out there, they would typically charge at least tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not maybe seven figures for research like this. And you get it in the palm of your hands within minutes. Sometimes it might take a little longer, maybe 15 minutes or so, but it's a lot better than taking days or weeks to get done. And now that you have ChatGPT, deep research. There are other deep research functions or features available in other LLMs, but I found that I like ChatGPT deep research because one, I can use their reasoning models and it also has good memory features. That allows me to compound faster without having to reteach the LLMs. ChatGPT's reasoning models are extremely strong when it comes to strategizing. Once you have your data, you can ask for a highly informed strategy based on it. And so as of today, the strongest reasoning model is O3, but it's only going to get better 
better over time. And I'm gonna show you how I go about thinking about strategy when it comes to using ChatGPT. So in this case, I am showing ChatGPT the reasoning model to help me strategize. I'm also combining it with deep research and I am tying it in with our CRM. And so you can see here, I have to do, do a, a comparison between our last six months versus the previous six months in terms of how our conversion rates have been and how late stage closes have been, early stage closes, but it researched my entire CRM and it gave me this data. So I had the power in my hands where I didn't have to wait for a data analyst to take a long time to get this done for me. This work would have taken weeks. It would have cost me maybe hundreds or thousands of dollars to, to get it done. But now that I've gotten this, I can make better decisions faster. And by the way, when I talk about strategizing, I'm not just talking about it for your business. You can also think about strategizing for your content as well. Think about if you need an idea for a YouTube headline or packaging for the headline and the thumbnails. Maybe you like certain designs from other headline inspirations that you've seen out there already. You can have it come up with the concepts and you can even have it design the concepts for you. Now, one of my favorite parts about this revolution is that even if you're not technical now, you can technically vibe code prototypes. And what I mean by vibe coding is when you have the vibes around something, when you're thinking about something, well, instead of having to go to an engineer now, you can just go prompt this out and say, hey, I'm thinking about building a software like this software over here. Here's a couple of screenshots. I like this inspiration over here. Here's our style guidelines. You can just keep dragging things in and out and you can go back and forth with it and you can have a working prototype that you can even deploy. The beauty of this is that that's going to allow you to move a lot faster now when you're building products or even building tools to give away to help drive more leads for your business. All right, so that's a wrap. If you can even take five of these ideas and actually implement them, you'll be ahead of 95% of marketers right now. So if you like this video and want to learn more about AI, you want to check out this video over here on how to become a 10x marketer with ChatGPT.